Understanding, kick up a fuss, stink, a guide to expressive English phrases. Hello, English enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into two fascinating phrases, kick up a fuss and kick up a stink. These expressions are colorful ways to describe someone's reaction to dissatisfaction or displeasure. By mastering these phrases, you'll add depth and emotion to your English conversations. Let's get started. At the heart of both expressions is the idea of creating a disturbance or commotion because one is unhappy or disagrees with something. To kick up a fuss means to complain or protest strongly about a situation or decision. Similarly, to kick up a stink carries the same meaning but can sometimes imply a more intense or objectionable form of protest. To fully grasp these phrases, let's see them in context. 1. When the customer found a hair in his soup, he kicked up a fuss, demanding a refund and a free meal. 2. The community kicked up a stink about the proposed demolition of the historic park, organizing rallies and petitions. These examples highlight how the phrases are used to describe vocal dissatisfaction or opposition. While these expressions are interchangeable in many contexts, kick up a stink may be viewed as slightly stronger. It's essential to consider the tone and setting before using these phrases. They're perfect for informal situations or creative writing but might be too casual for formal or professional contexts. Understanding the cultural context is crucial. These phrases are common in British English and understood globally among English speakers. However, their usage can reflect a person's emotional state and societal attitudes towards confrontation and complaint which can vary widely across cultures. Congratulations on adding kick up a fuss and kick up a stink to your English vocabulary. These phrases enrich your language, allowing you to express dissatisfaction with flair and precision. Remember, language learning is a journey filled with discoveries. Keep exploring and see you in our next video adventure.